Lafreda. Oh, yeah. Now, with a name like Pat Lafreda, wouldn't you think that he could make a really good sausage? Of course. And he does. He makes the <gasps> best sausage. And you have a choice here. Juicy, succulent, not fatty, not dripping with grease. Oh, these look uh, lovely. These are so tasty. This is the hot. Yes. And, and you can see the color. It's uh, it's redder than the mm -hmm. than the sweet, which is a little whiter. But uh, want to taste? I would love a taste. As a matter of fact, here's let me. Oh, here, I'll that. just use it. We need to get another fork out here. Oh, that's okay. I love eating my with my fingers. So here is your choice. If you mm. like the blushy color, this is mm. the one that is the hot sausage, and these are pork based. But then we do also have the sweet Italian sausage or the combo. First of all, the even the inside is pretty. Oh, it's so good. Look at and that. You can eat them grilled in the casing. You can put mm -hmm. them in the broiler. You can put them in a frying pan. Um, you can uh, bake them on a baking sheet. These baking sheet meals are so popular right now. Oh my this is with onion. Mm. Um, this is with mm. acorn squash. And you just grill, you just roast those in the oven. Look how beautiful that is. And you're getting a total of 16 of them. And they are three and three quarter ounces each. This is a hearty, hearty meal. This is the sweet Italian sausage. Right up here in the front is the hot Italian sausage. That's what I just ate. You know what I love Thank about you. the hot? The flavor, uh, there's a combination of types of fennel that you used in here, but then the heat builds slowly, but I don't feel like I need to go and have something to drink immediately afterwards. It's just a blossom of warmth in the mouth. Sea salt, paprika, a little bit of chili. Mm -hmm. um, very tasty, tasty combination. Delicious. And, yeah, and it's not overpowering. Even people who say, oh, I don't like spicy, love the hot sausage. Well, and you know what? Again, take a look at that color. And you made a specific point. We want the sausage to be moist, but we don't want it to be greasy. There's no. a lot of greasy sausage that's no. out there. And you can so, see right here how ground beautiful fennel. this is. That fennel gives that little tiny bit of, of licorice-y taste, you know? Yes. I love that. Just enough. Look at how gorgeous all the pieces you're seeing on the inside. Yep. But now I want to go for the sweet. Oh, yeah. Because this is something I love to make a Sunday sauce. You're a good carver. Oh, you're very <laughs> you're very nice. Very it's not something carver. that I usually do. So, yeah, the Sunday sauce. Can you imagine? Oh, this? my word. The flavor of this infusing, because I use San Marzano tomatoes in my Sunday mm. sauce. Let me move this one out of the way. <gasps> Look at the moisture of that. How gorgeous that is. Now that's what I want sausage to be and I don't want the casing to be too tough but I want it to have a little snap and texture. You ever do sausage and peppers like this? Yes, that's cl that's so, classic Philadelphia so this actually. Is Philadelphia uh, sauteed onions that are mm. caramelized and caramelized. Uh, peppers that are cooked in olive oil and then the sausage or, uh, sausages are added. That is just serve that on rolls like this mm -hmm. or on uh, over even over pasta. So, uh, you know what? A lot of people are going for the combo because you can go all hot, all sweet, or if you go for the combo, you will get eight of each of the sausages that we're talking about. And again, this is a pork-based Italian sausage. So my question to you, Martha, is Memorial Day weekend is coming up. So they will get these on time if they order with a major credit card to have it for their barbecue. Is this in lieu of hot dogs or is this an end next to the hot dog? How do you see the spread for Memorial Day? Um, oh no, you have to have, you have to have everything right. <laughs> for Memorial Day. <laughs> but each meal, I mean, if you're having a weekend party and I'm, I'm having a week, a three-day mm -hmm. party, so one night will be sausages mm -hmm. and probably with peppers, onions, mm -hmm. maybe polenta. I love this. <gasps> love the polenta. Yeah, see it's how an pretty this way is? to serve it too. Yeah. yeah. And then um, and that that's that's one meal. Then the next meal will be the hamburger meal. That will mm -hmm. be lunch. We've worked really hard planting all the terraces mm -hmm. and stuff. And we'll have we'll have hamburgers with all the fixings. And then um, and then for um, another you know other meal we'll do the fish. Right, oh, right, the halibut. Wait. I can't wait to do the halibut and the salmon. I can't wait to we'll do all of that. will be fabulous, but you know what really captured my eye? Someone was walking by when you were on with the wine with this particular oh, bowl right here. Oh, with the orichette? The oh. orichette, because the shape of the orichette to hold on to by chopping up the sausages like this that we see right over well, here. Well, we just in the take the casings rub. off and crumble it. You crumble it. Yeah. It's just beautiful. And that's with broccoli rob and mm -hmm. hot peppers. Oh boy, that's mm -hmm. that tasty. What a delicious summer Taste meal this. that's rich in Taste flavor. Taste this. This is so good. Okay, so a little bit of the polenta. Oh my gosh, yeah, try the polenta. Oh mm. my goodness. And then you can make a strata too, which is, what bread, is bread and crumbled sausage and uh, kale and we've, uh, mm. we've made, and a lot of cheese. Mm -hmm. You should taste that too. You know what? May I? Mm -hmm. Goodness sakes. There must be, is there a plate? No. Well, we have a giant serving vessel, okay. but we don't have a plate. I'll, I'll take put the this serving the, I'll vessel. I'll put it on the board. No, I'll okay. put it on the board. Um, try you know this. It's sort of like a bread pudding with 
sausage. Would we be able to find these recipes oh, on yes, your website? Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, you know what? This is popular. Again, with Memorial Day weekend coming up, this oh. is the perfect time to... Oh, I'm so sorry, That's my dear. Okay. Try these. What do you think? Oh, my gosh. That is spectacular. Mm -hmm. That is spectacular because you're getting the flavor of the sausage and the texture is so creamy. The eggs and the With the eggs, and the it's marvelous. The, oh, yes. It's so oh, my amazing. word. So, Rata. you can go for the hot, which is the one that you see here. And again, you're using a combination of, is it the actual fennel seeds and then some ground? And fennel too, Gr yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. fennel. So ground. Oh, thank you. And so there's the hot. And then here is the sweet sausage that we see up here as well. You can get both if you want to. I know the combo continues to be popular, but I also recommend, this is on three easy payments of $26.60 a month. So if you would like to bring this home, and this is a spectacular time to do it because these, when we bring them home, they go in the freezer. How long will they stay good in the freezer for if we don't cook them all right oh, away? Well, in the original wrapping, several months, of okay. course. Marvelous. Oh, 200 of these are now gone. Oh, and here's another thing as well. Mm. You may have these delivered now. We really don't have a choice of delivery dates for very many of the foods that we have at this moment in time, but this one we do. You may have them delivered now for Memorial Day, but if you want them just on time mm. for July 4th, we can do this the week of June 25th, and that will guaranteed arrive on time for you for July 4th, but at the moment we do not have auto delivery on this one. But these are so many of the different ways that you can serve this in lieu of the sausage that you find at your regular grocery store because that does not come from Pat Lafredo. So we're gonna show you a little something that's a bit more about him. This is Hampshire pork. Mm -hmm. This is, um, it's a third generation business. Uh, Pat is, he really cares about the animals from which his meat um, derives. Mm -hmm. And he knows the pigs, he knows the cows, he mm -hmm. knows the lambs, he knows the sheep, right. you know, he knows it. And, uh, and I'm very happy about that because to me, um, meat has to be sustainably raised in sure. order to be enjoyable. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I really look for that. And Pat has been, uh, he's famous in, in the Northeast for his uh, incredible quality. Yeah. So partnering with him is just a joy. And, and these uh, sausages are so carefully made they look good, they taste good, they are good. They're fantastic. Yeah. And you will love to serve this to your family and your friends and your guests. Taking it away. 16 <laughs> of them, and each one of them is three and three quarter ounces in size of that Hampshire pork, which is a heritage breed, making it very, very special in terms of flavor. And 58897 if you want to grab the Italian sausage. Oh, this is such a delightful way oh. to finish off the show. We've had our wine, we've had some of our main dishes, and then this may go out for just a delightful 